Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. This is Christy Womack. The knowledge tip from CS3 Today is Acumatica Aggregate Functionality in Generic Inquiries. Many clients have asked if there is a way to see on one screen a multitude of information without having to click into each document. And with this functionality, it can happen. If you take the standard GI from Acumatica on POs, you will notice there is one PO per line with summation totals on the Generic Inquiry form. If you want to see how many line items make up that PO, you have to click on each PO to drill down and see what is what. By clicking on PO 00001, we can see all three lines. One for rent, one for advertising, and one for utilities. Wouldn't it be nicer to see that all on one screen? If you use the aggregate functionality, you can do just that. Let's view the purchase order GI that has the aggregate functionality included already. Over on the right hand side, you will see that there says PO lines. If you click on the PO, you will see that there are three line items, which actually makes up that PO line on your front screen. In order to make that happen, you will have to have some modifications to your GI. First, you'll need to go into grouping and group by purchase order number. Then you'll have to bring over your aggregate column. This example already has that done for us. It is usually on the left side and you need to highlight it and click it to the right. The following aggregate functions are available. You can go by average, which returns an average of all the values, account, which shows up all of the counts, a min or max, which is the minimum or maximum value of the group, a summation of the group. If you leave that field blank, the sum is applied to the columns with the numeric type, and a max is applied to all the other columns. In order to get to that information that I was just talking about, you will go into your Acumatica help. If you scroll down, you will see the aggregate function with all of the extra definitions. Once we view the inquiry, we will see that there are three PO lines, one PO line complete with a received status, a receipt status as open. One last step that we cannot forget about, we have to put in some logic in there for it to pull in the correct information. The first bit of information, we want to make sure we get a summation of all of our completed lines. And the second bit, we are trying to see if the receipt status is open or complete. Once we view our inquiry, we will get the results we want. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.